Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Sister Doctor. I am Sister Doctor Omi Oshun Joni L. Jones. Now tell me, what is a Sister Doctor? Anybody know? Shout it out. What do you think a Sister Doctor is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just like teaching in class. <laughs> tell me, say it loud. What's a Sister Doctor? A black woman with a PhD, and we are few and far between. Let me tell you. Do we have any sister doctors in the house? Just raise your hands. Oh, yeah, give them a hand. Woohoo! We have any sister doctors in training? Woo! Woo! As we work together on Sister Doctor, I want to make sure to acknowledge Tanya Lyles, Master Drummer who is going to keep the earth rhythm going for us. Thank you, Tanya. Now, when you look at me, what do you see? Black female body? Huh. And what does that mean? What histories do you bring to your looking? What histories do you assume about me? These are the questions, the research questions that I ask in my laboratory the studio, the performance space. As an artist, scholar in the academy, not only do I write articles, write books, and study hard in those ways, I am deeply interested in what embodiment tells us about blackness. What do we learn about an engagement with racism when we confront that body to body? So we're gonna play with that idea a little bit today. And every time I perform Sister Doctor, <laughs> I dedicate it to a recent Sister Doctor, and we just had one yesterday. So I'm gonna dedicate it to her. Woo! Bukola Potier, new Sister Doctor. Hmm. This one is for you. I have arrived. M A N U P H D N Y U. Tenya at U T. Oh! I am the new Negro. Cowries and silk. Kinte and linen, Christmas and Kwanzaa. <laughs> I am the result of AME, BET, PC, MTV, <laughs> the Red Ball Express, World War II. <laughs> sit downs and sit ins and prayer meetings. Today, they hired me. It is a status job. Grants, conferences, receptions. Meetings, office, computer, and voicemail. Meetings, spring break, semester break, summer break. Meetings, health plan, dental plan, retirement plan. Meetings. Ah, yes. Along with my papers, they gave me my status symbol. The key to the white lock. John. Hmm. Woo. Woo. We call this the butt dance. In the academy, we act like we don't have bodies, but we do. In 2009, out of 67,000 doctorates awarded in the United States, how many were awarded to African American women? The percentage is 4.3%. Woo! In 1993, 
out of 157,000 full professors in the United States, what percentage are black women? Take a guess, what percentage? 157,000 full professors, how many are black women? I can't stand on Releve for too long here. <laughs> Take a guess, what percentage do you think? 3%. Huh. Much lower, 0.9%. Wow. Woo! Who was the first African-American woman to be hired by the Department of Communication Studies at the University of Texas? Me. <laughs> Woo! Ah. So I'm gonna call on you again to help me out with another element, insist the doctor. Sometimes the drum takes me away. <laughs> and this time, I'm going to assume a different pose. How many of you have had self-defense classes? OK, a few of you. I hope you have never had to use them. <sighs> but what I find, luckily, is that I need more verbal self-defense than I need physical self-defense. Oh, somebody said, mm-hmm, I, I know you understand, right? Because we hear all too often that stupid statement. And if you're like me, it's two hours later, you go, oh, I should have said, right? <laughs> so I'm going to give you something that you can use as verbal self-defense. Now, those of you that have had these self-defense classes, do I have a good ready pose? I don't do this well, so you can, you can tell me. Is this, is this right? Oh, oh. Of course, you know. All right, thank you very much. All right, anything else? Is the stance okay? That's all right? All right. Now, what we're going to do this time, every time you see me go into this ready pose, whew, I'm going to make a move. And you're going to say, I'll say it first, and then you're going to say, be careful. Your misunderstandings are dangerous. That's all you got to say. Verbal self-defense. <laughs> all right? So let's practice. You'll see this, and then we'll say together, be careful. Your misunderstandings are dangerous. Perfect. We start with the first one. Hey, Dr. Jones. How you doing? Um, I just thought I would come by for your office hours. I wanted to talk a little bit about what we were talking about in class. Um, you keep talking about this black feminism stuff, and I'm just wondering. I just don't think it has much to do with me, because you know I'm not a lesbian, and I don't really think that I'm going to have problems making any money. You know, my mother's a doctor, and she makes more money than my father. Uh-huh. Yeah, so Dr. Jones, I, I think black feminism just isn't for me. Be careful. Your misunderstandings are dangerous. Uh, Dr. Jones, can I, can I come in? Thank you. Um, I didn't want to speak up in class. Uh, I don't want you to get angry. And I know, I, Dr. Jones, I'm the first person to go to college in my family. And in my hometown, nobody goes to college. I'm sorry. Um, Dr. Jones, I'm working two jobs. and I really do know that the things that happened to black people were really bad, really. But you know, um, those things aren't happening anymore. And I don't want you to think I'm racist. I'm really not racist. 
If people go to school based on the color of their skin, then it'll hurt people like me. <laughs> Be careful. Your misunderstandings are dangerous. <laughs> Woo! We got a good chuckle on that one, yeah. <laughs> and everybody else got quiet. <laughs> we'll do a little bit more with Sister Doctor. A way to think about how we can confront research questions in the body. What new things do you discover person to person? She said she was my sister. But sisterhood is being redefined without my consent. She pressed my hand, she wasn't even my mama. No comfort of familial straightening, no warm mama hands on Saturday night before Sunday school, gotta look good. She pressed out the kinks of meanness, of slash marks and nouns into verbs and mm, mm, mm. She thus and therefore my hair to a stiff, straight flatness, spit polished shine, the Dixie Peach awkwardness apparent in every word. Did she know how long it took to find this nappy freedom, to hide that straightening comb away in the kitchen drawer? After all, there was a thousand years of silence. After all, there was my daily institutionalization. After all, there was a PhD where I was dissed to death. I hope my edges go back real soon, go back from sweat and living. She said she was my sister. But sisterhood is being redefined without my consent. I have arrived. <laughs> oh, no. And this is for sister doctors who are making our own arrivals, making our own arrivals, making our own arrivals. Hey, sister doctors, Woo. making our own arrivals. <laughs>